Hello everyone, I'm making this video to show you how you can easily defeat Detlaf on Death March or really any difficulty. I think a lot of people consider him one of the harder bosses and I actually think he's one of the easier ones, that is if you know what to do of course, and showing you what to do is the purpose of this video. So if you're having issues, it's probably not with first phase, it's pretty much the same as the fight in the barn or whatever that place the first time you meet him, just dodge his attacks and hit him. Okay, going straight into second phase, there are really three things that you need to be careful of. The first one is the bats. He goes up high, he gathers a swarm of bats and he launches them at you. Now, initially you might feel like this attack is impossible to dodge, but it is actually dodgeable and you should dodge it because it does a ton of damage. So, how you need to do it is as soon as he starts gathering the bats, you start running away from him. And when you see this cloud-like animation, not sure how to describe it, it's an obvious visual cue, just start rolling to the side. So you see him doing this, you start rolling to left or right, and you will dodge it. The second thing you need to be concerned about is there's like a pool of blood or something appears beneath you and he emerges from it. You need to dodge to the side to stay away from it when he emerges because he does damage, like a small AoE and then he pauses for a while, regaining his strength. You can usually get in two or three attacks and then you have to go back again because he will do a small AoE once again and fly up. Now, you might think that's the only time where you can actually damage him, but that's not the case. And here's the third thing. The third attack he does is this lunge at you, basically. Now, during that lunge, what you can do is use Ard. Use it as soon as he closes in. You'll figure out the timing, it's not that hard actually and you will knock him out of the air and you'll get another chance to attack him and this phase lasts probably twice as long as the previous one so you can damage him for a long time before he recovers. And these are the three things that you need to worry about in second phase and if you do them properly, which is not that hard, he cannot hit you at all, you will not take any damage. So knowing these three things, second phase becomes the easiest. Now moving on to third phase. You can do it the normal way of once again fighting him by mostly dodging and counterattacking. And then when he goes into one of the three hearts, you start attacking the heart. But that's not how I like to do it. That's kind of a time consuming way. I like a more elegant solution, maybe a little cheesy. And that is to destroy the hearts without actually attacking him. And he just dies if you do that. What you need to do is lock on your target on one of the hearts. Are those hearts? Anyway, one of the three things. Lock on target and then alternate between a roll and a strong attack. And you can find this rhythm where you're able to attack the heart and then dodge that loss attack, attack the heart again and dodge the next attack and so on and so forth until you kill all three hearts. Now, sometimes you'll get hit, sometimes it will not work as smoothly. And here's where your specialization can come into play so far I haven't mentioned any specializations and this is a universal guide in fact I probably chose the worst spec to fight Detlaf in this video to show you that it's possible regardless of your specialization I'm specialized in bombs alchemy and you can make your life easier in this phase if you have high stamina regeneration so if you're using a sign build or a set of light armor or maybe even both so you can cast Quen very often uh, and just not worry too much about being hit. Perhaps some kind of um, decoction that enhances stamina regeneration will help as well. And that's it. That's the whole fight. Once again, you don't have to do the third phase this way, uh, but this is just a bit of a trick that I wanted to show you. I realize that this video is quite a bit late um, after the release of Blood and Wine, but oh well. So that was it. Thank you very much for watching, and until next one, stay tuned and be good.